Hallelujah. He gave us his only son. Amen. God of himself. He took a part of himself and manifested Jesus. Hallelujah. And gave Jesus to us. That's Amen. quality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he knew in doing so right. that he had set a perfect match in the earth. Thank as, you. as it was in heaven. Yes. Yes. All right. And one of the attributes or qualities of sons of God yeah. is they walk and talk like God. Yeah. If you want to improve the quality of your life, Amen. you got to begin to walk and talk Amen. like God. Yeah. I'm not saying be God. We can't be God, but we can become the sons of God. Amen. We can act like him. Yes, we right. can live like him. Yes, sir. Let others. Sometimes we run our mouth too much. Amen. Let people see your life doing the talk. Amen. That's quality. That's yeah. quality. When sometimes you would want to say something harsh to people, instead turn and say a kind word. Amen. And let that be a, a charge to them. Yes, sir. Like Stephen did. Amen. Now we're going to speak about what is life. All right. <clears throat> when I think of life, Sure, I think of the birth of Amen. Jesus, and I think of how God sent his son to be born in the earth. Yes. And his existence is the reason why we are saved today. Amen. 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 Now, I also think of, the we, we go back to Webster, first of all. He said, what is life? Life is the condition or state of being alive Amen. Amen. to live, to breathe, yes. or exist in yes. this universe. All right. Amen. Amen. You ever talk to somebody and then you say, well, you know, I was talking to them, but their mind was somewhere else. They looked like they had no life in them at all. They were dead and flat. Sometimes life is the manner of existence or consciousness. He said that he would, that you would have life and that more abundantly. He wants us to live, not just exist. This is an inanimate object. Amen. No life in it. Amen. Amen. We should be animate. All right. Hallelujah. We should have animation. All right. Amen. When people see us, they should say, that's somebody I'd like to be with. I'd like Amen. to talk to that person. Yeah. They look like they have life. Amen. 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 They look like they have zest. All right. They are fervent. All right. He told us we should be fervent. Yes. Well, hallelujah. And he said, life is to display animation or vigor. Amen. Nothing worse yeah. than being around a bunch of dead people. Amen. Amen. And sometimes Sunday is the worst day of the week. Yeah. Oh, wow. Number one, it's the most segregated. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm saying that because everybody's in their little church, That's yeah. right. their little doctrine, All right. and, and if you're not Baptist, or you're not Methodist, uh-huh. or you're not Presbyterian or Holiness, Amen. everybody got their separate little yeah. segregated. Amen. That's, right. Right. That's just existing. Yeah. Right. I think to live, you need to interact with That's all right. people. Amen. Amen. You need to witness to all people. Amen. You need to love people of all faiths and Amen. witness to those people of different faiths. Right. Sometimes you be with some of the people in different churches of the right. same faith. Right. You say, praise the Lord. Amen. PTL. Right. Or snobbish or don't even speak at all. Amen. That's right. That's true. That is not life in Christ. Amen. Amen. So we talked today about improving our quality of life. Amen. We're going to think about life in the natural. All right. Amen. <laughs> Let us look at the Olympics. When we think of the Olympics, we think of people who are who are bringing quality to the table. Yes. Amen. For four years, they trained, and only the best of the best, yes. the creme de la creme, yes. <laughs> get to go to the Hallelujah. Olympics. That's, right. That's the way we should be running for Jesus. Glory. We should be the best Hallelujah. of the best. Yes. We are the creme de la creme. Yes. We should have the best and yes. him and bigger. Because when they see us, they see we've been with God. They see our vim and our vigor. And they see we have been in training. They see we are striving for the mark of the high prize in Jesus Christ. They see that not only are we called, but we are qualified. Not only have we been called, but we have been chosen by God. We are running the Olympics for Jesus. Oh, yes, we can improve the quality of our life. We just have to get out there and do it. commercial Taco Bell, and I like the, that right. commercial. He said, eat it like it means it. Right. Live for Christ like you mean it. Amen. Because you can improve the quality of your life just with simple things. Amen. I'm not saying you have to be an apostle, prophet, 
going on down to five callings. You don't have to be all that. What Amos said, I am no prophet. He was just a merry man, but when God sent him in to do the job, he went in and did it like he means. We look in, 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 in another example. Let us look at fashion. When we think of quality and we think of fashion, mm -hmm. yes. One of the first things I think of is shoes, because I do have a shoe fetish. Amen. I mean, I don't like cheap shoes. <laughs> I can't always buy the shoe I like, All right. but I can look at the one I like. All right. And I like quality. All right. I grew up poor, and I had to wear brogans, and I had to wear them until they wore out. And I even stuffed them in the cold box, and they wouldn't wear out. All right. So I know what quality is. Sometimes you don't always want that quality. That's right. So when you think of shoes and clothes, yeah. you think of tennis shoes now, which is the fashion of the day. Right. Nike, Amen. New Balance, right. Right. you know, you name it. Right. When you look at the basketball players, man, that's a whole industry of tennis shoes. Right. I should have thought of that. All right. But you look at, they're not out there wearing cheap shoes, they're wearing quality. All right. They want to run and they want to be able to stop on the dime. They want to make that three-pointer out there and pivot and turn. They can't do that with cheap. You want quality in whatever endeavor you do. You want to bring your best to the table. And we look at fashion, we look at perfume. You ladies, you know this. That's right. Chanel number five, Dior, you name it, all of that. Quality. And you're paying good money for that quality. That's right. You know my favorite automobile is the Jaguar. Right. I'll never have one, but I can admire it because right. it's quality. Right. And you look at those things in the natural. Right. What should we be bringing to the table? Yeah. Bring that spirit of the Jaguar. Right. We should bring right. that spirit of right. Chanel number five. Right. We should bring that spirit right. of Nike to the table. Right. The best of the best. Right. Doesn't have to be in the natural. We got to be in the spirit. Right. And all these things that people wander after fad and fashion and things. Right. Let's look at education. Right. There are parents right now yes. who have their kids in private basketball camps, yes. Amen. little things just working on up to it. Right. They're looking for that ticket to wealth. Amen. And they're looking for it maybe through sports Amen. or letting their kids go through the best of colleges Amen. or the best of schools. Amen. When I think of it, we have in our family, we have a lot of smart and educated folk. Amen. Amen. And not always in the church. Amen. We have people in our family that were uh, attempting to go to Harvard and Yale and doing all this stuff. And one of the ones that was doing it after he got inducted into Yale or Harvard, whichever one it was, he died before he could get there. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. So the bottom line is only what you do for Christ right. will last. Amen. If you want to improve the quality of your life, yes. you must live it in Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. We have to... One of the things that we need to do to improve a quality of life is learning the word. Yes. Right. Learning the word. Right. The kind of education you get in school, they're not going to teach you about the things that are in the Bible. Amen. But you can improve the quality of your life by knowing when you are seeing an example of the word. Yes. Right. The tragedy we just seen, we yes. saw an example of it in the word Amen. of how the Bible said men would become fierce. Yes. That's right. Amen. It's not God's fault that there are crazy people in the earth. How many people agree with that? Amen. So, Amen. You lose your mind up in some place like that, and people are shooting people in the mall, people, right. all the Christmas shopping and dimmed and, and, and went downhill because people are scared to go out and shop, and people are scared right. to take the kids to school, and That's people right. scared. But you know, when you live in Christ, Amen. you don't have to be afraid. Amen. Because Amen. if I live, I gain. Amen. If I die, I gain. to leave before I do. Amen. Oh, that's sad. Amen. But like the man of God was saying, I know where they're going. Right. Yeah. I know in whom I can leave and trust. Right. If they die tomorrow or today, I know they're going to be with God. Amen. You need that assurance. Amen.